the grim reaper of the disc world. I will travel the round world to seek answers to all your questions about disc world. Today, we will consider the hog fox. It was the night before Hog's Watch. And now, it's time for bed. Susan? Yes? You know, last week we were at Letter to the Hog Father? Yes. Well, will he really come? If you don't believe in the Hog Father, there won't be any presents. My final visit is to the home of Terry Pratchett, the chronicler of Discworld. On the round world, they call this Christmas. On the Discworld, it is Hog's Watch. How does one celebrate it? Uh, on Discworld, it's celebrated in pretty much the same way. Uh, overeating, family rows, uh, unwanted presents. But possibly there's a bit more to it as well. Uh, well. We celebrate as much as we can with roaring fires, yule logs, uh, serious sausages, and I have to say, a certain amount of good ale does get quaffed. Ho, ho, ho! I suppose you could call the Hog Father the spirit of Hog's Watch. He wears, very typically, a red coat with white trimmings, which just happened to typify the midwinter celebrations down all the ages. And let us be clear, they were not always nice. They often involved the old-style sacrifice where the blood would be on the snow. But he's now nice, and he turns up in department stores and gives the little kiddies presents, and no one really remembers now the darkness behind it all. Hogs Watch isn't about giving everything away. I mean, yes, you, you do give things away, but you have to buy them first. You mean this is all free? Who is this man, the Hog Father? <laughs> <laughs> ah, my lord, my lord. He is hog's watch. He is rumbustious fun. He gives presents to children and bones to the bad. <laughs> he is what makes winter worthwhile. He's the end of the year, my lord. The end of the year but the beginning of the new one. Well, that concludes my and your journey around Discworld. I do hope you have enjoyed it. Now, I've been practicing this. <clears throat> Happy Hogs Watch. Ho, ho, ho.